and there you can see it says loaded the ROM. And now we'll just go ahead and press the circle button. And right there is the game. Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So there has been this project from John Tornblum that I have definitely wanted to go ahead and check out, mainly because this basically is a homebrew store that you can get on your PlayStation 5 but it only uses the web. Now, that's quite different than other approaches to doing this, such as having maybe just a separate application that you download different homebrew apps from. Now, I wanna go ahead and take a look at what all this project involves, and it starts right over here at GitHub, and he says right here that this is a simple web server for jailbroken PS5s that accepts connections on port 8080. So if we scroll down into this just a little bit, you can see that he states that there is a couple of different available services here. So you can go to this index.html to launch Homebrew. You can also explore the file system and you can download files. Now, what we're really interested in is this part, which is installing Homebrew. So it says the web server will search for Homebrew in data slash Homebrew and make a couple of assumptions of the file structure. So it is basically expecting you to have a data, Homebrew, and then whatever name of the app is, with an eboot.elf and then an icon.png. Now there's obviously some instructions in here on building it and a few other things, but he's made it pretty easy for us to get started. So if we go over here to the releases and we look at version 0 0.7, which came out right around two weeks ago, let's just go ahead and we will download each and every one of these files right here. So I went ahead and clicked on each one of these. As you can see, they are all downloaded to my local file system. And we're going to begin by copying this PKG right here over to our USB stick to put into a PlayStation 5. Okay, so here I've got a USB drive that is formatted in XFAT. And I'm just going to paste that PKG in here. And now let's go ahead and insert that into our PlayStation 5. Okay, so back over on my PlayStation 5, this is one of my 4.03 machines. I'm simply using Idle Sauce's source, so you can definitely go and use that one as well. I'll provide a link down below. So I'm going to go ahead and press the jailbreak button here and it's so extremely smooth and stable now and make sure you run the ps5 payload elf loader here and then you're going to want to run the web server okay let's head back to the home menu here we will need to move out of it and then go right back into settings because then it will show debug settings so we're going to go to game and we're going to go to package installer and we're going to go ahead and install that PKG. And as soon as you run it, you will see that it's just setting here stating Homebrew Launcher 0 0.7, but there isn't any apps into it. Now, if you recall what I stated just a little bit earlier, we will need to actually go ahead and create these folders on our PlayStation 5. Now, the easiest way to do that is obviously through FTP, and you probably don't have FTP running right now, so the easiest way to go ahead and to get that back up again is to obviously head back over to Idlesauce's website, and in my case, I just have a DNS redirect that goes to Echo Stretch's site, and then I just simply jump over here to Idle sauce. We will need to run the jailbreak again, but once it finishes with this, we're just going to need to select the FTP payload. And we just need a simple FTP here. So I'm just going to grab this one right here and we will go ahead and press X on it. And we could see the port information there. Back over in FileZilla, as you can see, I have the IP address as well as the port number as 1337. 
and I'm going to press connect here. And immediately we're going to go into the data folder and you will see here there isn't a homebrew folder. And what we need to do is we need to create a directory and enter it. So we're going to go homebrew here. And so again, from the main project page, if you go to releases and you scroll down a little bit, again, just make sure you download some of these if you just want to play with it. I've went ahead and downloaded all of them. And so here they are. They're all as just .zip files. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of these and I'm just going to extract it to its root folder right here. So I'm going to do that for the rest of these. And now here is all of those folders. We're going to switch to our FileZilla. And from here, just make sure again, you're in the homebrew folder on your PlayStation 5. And then right here is the folders that I went ahead and I extracted. So I'm just going to drag and drop those into the folder here. And we'll let that go ahead and finish uploading. Okay, so everything has been uploaded. And if we just go ahead and we take one of these, you can see that these follow that format where there is this elf file that it is expecting inside of the root of the folder of the name of the homebrew. Let's go ahead and let's switch over to our PlayStation 5 and make sure you run the PS5 payload elf loader here. And then you're going to want to run the web server. Okay, let's head back to the home menu here. And we are going to select the homebrew launcher. And there it goes. We can see we now have Devolution X, Final Burn Neo, which is an emulator for arcade games, FF Play, Lake SNES, and a few others here. So let's go ahead and let's try maybe this lake snes and there's a couple of samples in here we're going to select the final insect whatever that may be and there you can see it says loaded the rom and now we'll just go ahead and press the circle button and right there is the game running in the background so Obviously, you could do this with a number of different SNES games. Now, these are absolutely running as part of the Homebrew Launcher application. So you can always come back in here and press close game if you are trying to exit back out of it. Anyway, just another development that I thought that I would cover here on the channel. I hope you got something out of this. Please subscribe to the channel if you find any of this content useful. I would definitely take a thumbs up as well as a comment down below because, as you know, it helps me in the algorithms. And I'm super excited to continue to kind of grow this channel. Thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!